So I'm setting up a new little recording space inside my office for some other types of videos. I want to show you guys what I'm doing. Stick around. Let's check it out. All I need are some tasty waves, cool buzz, and I'm fine. Okay, so first of all, excuse the mess, but it's essentially I have this little corner that I blocked off. Got a piece of uh, paneling, old school paneling that I happen to have in my garage that I bolted to the back of um, this uh, metal shelf that's on the other side. That's the uh, chair that I was talking about. And then I moved in all of my VHS holders. These are not all full yet, but I've had them stored up in the rad cave and they just kind of take up a lot of room. Um, so um, I moved that in here, then winded up getting me this little lamp on Amazon. And then this cool little neon thing that you can stick to the wall, kind of these little bars and you can shape them. There's like four of them. And so I think I'm going to do like a, I don't know, a zigzag pattern or something like that. But, um, but then I was like, you know what, I got to, I got to have this look a little bit more swankier because I've got all this wall space right here. So what I winded up doing was going on eBay and purchasing me a few Nagels. Now, if you guys remember Patrick Nagel, he was uh, from the 70s and 80s in Playboy, and then he, he came out with, uh, he did these drawings like this, um, and uh, was pretty famous in the 80s. He died very, very young. And then his, I guess, institute or foundation later on um, started reprinting these. And, uh, you know, in the late 80s, these were all over the place. So I got me, got me four different types, two 24 by 36 and two 18 by 24. And um, I'll uh, got these frames from Walmart that I'm gonna put them in. But the cool thing that I wanted to show is that these are, although everything was technically a reprint because he died so young, they came back out and they made uh, the authentic ones uh, in, the, in 1990, which is when these were done. And if you can tell, it's kind of hard to tell, but maybe you can tell by the sound and the, and the fact that they're sitting up like this is that these are, original lithographs and trust me even though it seems like i'm being rough i'm being very gentle these are on like a card stock so these aren't poster grade paper these are actual card stock that are super durable and heavy duty these are going to be put in frames and be put up on the wall maybe one here maybe one here one here uh, make it look really dope and um, and then i ended up getting me this uh, podcasting microphone kit from amazon and uh so i think i'm gonna set that up right there maybe clip it on right here uh, when i'm doing it sit there and just be able to kind of do um, just a little chat about some gen x things like i said not everything on our channel not everything on my channel is necessarily gen x topics but are nostalgia topics 70s and 80s and, and i want the longer form content about 70s and 80s and 90s memorabilia to kind of be for all people, especially the younger people, to kind of see what we did, what we had, the differences between back then and nowadays. But then on the Wednesday show, I want to start doing more things that are geared specifically to Gen X type topics. Um, don't know really what I'm going to talk about yet. This is actually going to be my first one that goes up on a Wednesday, so because it's pertaining to this. So uh, what are your what are your thoughts? Drop a comment below. Give me some ideas of what we should talk about. Um, remember, people typically. It's 1965 to 1980, although I know some charts show it to be before, I think from 1960. And then even you old millennials that were born in 81, 82, 83, kind of the same thing. What are some ideas that you'd like to talk about? Let's talk about it. I know one thing that I want to talk about uh, firsthand is about health, the Gen X health and wellness. Uh, I'm, I'm into fitness, really getting into this longevity and this, uh, biohacking stuff that you see Brian Johnson do or my, my personal favorite, um, Dave Pasco. Uh, so really going to be getting into that because, you know, we are living a lot longer nowadays and uh, do you want to live happy and healthy or for a long time or do you want or do you want to live a long time miserable and, and in bad condition? Well, I, I want to live healthy and have fun and have another 50 years to go in this life after my first 50 years. So, um, so anyway, again, drop a comment. And uh, if you're not yet subscribed, subscribe to the channel and uh, give me a thumbs up and uh, hit that bell notification for notifications on future videos. 
Uh, thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video.